I always push my glasses up. I should do that before I turn it on. But today is my Saturday, March 11th, and it's time for my Weight Watchers Weekly Update uh, for the meeting, meeting highlights. And um, the book this week is Spring Into Action. So uh, spring is a week from Wednesday. What's that? Ten more days. So it's coming up quick. Tonight we spring our clocks forward, so that'll make it feel a little bit more spring-like. Um, they also started a new program, Spring into Spring. And um, it's um, you have to do different things um, for the next six weeks. And at the end of the six weeks, if you've done the different things that they've told you, um, you get a little charm to add to your little charm bracelet right down there. So, um, sorry, got to answer that. Okay, I'm back. Um, I was wrong. It doesn't. You, you don't have to show up for all six weeks. You just have to show up for four of the six weeks. And um, so for week one, what we want to do is visit a garden center, stroll through the greenhouse, and get inspired for your spring blooms. Um, I don't like to go too early because then I see everything I want and I buy it and then it dies before the weather turns nice. But um, I do want to get a plant for my bathroom. And so I've been looking up um, different... Um, things that I want to do. Uh, I think I, I'm either going to get a spider plant or a fern. One of the two. But who's to know? When I show up at the store, I might buy something different. But um, So I will be visiting a garden center, and so then I will be able to put a little Bravo sticker on there next week. Because you know, I'm, like Denise, all about the stickers. So um, it says here, time to bloom. So long winter. Cold days will be behind us soon, and to usher them out will help you get a little spring in your step again. Once you start getting some fresh air, moving your body, you'll start to feel awesome inside and out. In fact, heading outdoors and spending time in nature can help boost your happiness, and that can help you make better choices. I so agree with that. Um, I find that when the weather is nice and I get out more, um, I'd like to walk in the morning and walk at night, but it's been so dark because in the Midwest here it gets dark pretty early. But now that there's spring in the clocks forward, it won't be really getting dark till about 7.30. <clears throat> and then once again, once the weather's nice, more people are out. Um, I realize I should have some limitations with my age as far as safety issues. And so um, I don't like to walk in the dark. I don't see well in the dark as it is. But, um, you know, I, I like to get moving. So um, I have to remember that that's two different times. I, kind of, I can only go 15 minutes. You don't need to hear me talk, talk longer than 15 minutes. But anyway, the book was Spring Into Action. I'll remind you of that again. And um, it says what, what you can do um, to get moving. Um, it helps boost your heart health, ward off certain diseases, and improve your mood. Uh, the leader pointed out that if you ever go to the mall and you see all these mall walkers, uh, a good majority of them are heart patients that have had heart surgery and their doctors have recommended them to walk. And it really is the easiest exercise. It's the cheapest exercise. You just need to buy a good pair of shoes and uh, wear some loose-fitting clothing uh, or comfortable clothing. And, and anybody can do it. I love to walk. I don't know why I haven't been walking. I don't mind walking in the cold. I have no excuses other than sheer laziness. But um, now that the weather's going to be breaking, although... That big windstorm brought in a lot of cold weather because it's really cold. Jim and I went out for dinner last night. Oh, I forgot to tell you. thats I knew I was forgetting something. Well, Jim and I went out for fish and chip dinner last night, and I knew that I was going to gain. But uh, I still went to the meeting because, like I said, I've been somewhat okay on my program. I've had a lot of salty foods this week, even though I didn't really eat out up until last night. But I had fish and chips, and that's very salty. And it's a batter, and I ate the batter. Um... I only ate two pieces of fish. They gave me three. Um, and I didn't eat all of the French fries. I probably ate maybe 10 of the French fries. But my downfall is I put ketchup on my fish. And so I had a lot of ketchup. But anyway, I gained 0 0.1. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm back up 271.4. So I've had a total loss. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. I have Christie's book. Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to grab Christie's book. I have the wrong book. I don't know how that could be, but it is. Sorry. Anyway, I, I did gain point one, but um, you know what? This is this is my book.
but I have not lost 32.8 pounds. I don't know how she got that. This isn't Christy's book. I'm so confused. I'm very confused. I think she gave me somebody else's book. Okay, I'm rattling on. I'll have to figure that out later. But trust me, I gained 0.1, and I'm up to 271.4. So anyway, back. Oh, Christy, Christy did lose. Christy lost 2.8. Uh, Denise lost 1.6, and Mary lost one pound. I'm the only one that didn't have a loss. So, um, boy, this is all over the map. And if this is the first time you're watching, I'm usually a lot more organized than I am today. I apologize because I am not the least bit organized. But anyway, uh, think again. Um, an unhelpful thought is I tried an outdoor yoga class once. It was so cold and windy, and I hated it. Outdoor exercise is just not for me. And a helpful thought would be I tried an outdoor yoga class, and I hated it. But you know, there's lots of other things I can do outside, and I think I'll look into that more. There you go. Um, an unhelpful thought is, I'm not really a nature person. Hiking and stuff like that just doesn't get me excited. But a helpful one is, I'm not really a nature person, but I don't have to be a mountain climber. I can walk. It's a beautiful day. Let's just go for a walk. I like that one too. But uh, some of the things you can do, the suggestions, um, the little bubbles that they give you is, um, this one lady says, took my granddaughter to the farm to visit her favorite animals. She loved it, and I got lots of steps in. Another one is, your energy goes up as your weight goes down. And I find that to be very true. Uh, I set a goal for my yard each spring, and it's a great way to get in activity while creating something different from last year. Um, I'm thinking of changing my flowers around. Um, the birdhouses that uh, Sophia got me, I'm going to hang outside so I can draw some birds in. Um, not in the backyard because they pay me back by pooping all over my deck and my pool. So I'm going to put them in the front yard so um, they can do it in the street. Uh, in the past few days, I've earned 56 fit points. I did spring cleaning on the house and a lot of yard work, gardening, and landscaping. I have started uh, my spring cleaning. I worked first on the TV room. I have that all cleaned and organized. Um, and uh, next week we're supposed to put hardwood floors in that room, so we got to pull the carpeting out, So and then we'll wash the windows. And then yesterday Jim and I did our bedroom, and um, I got that all cleaned. I did our bathroom in the main bathroom, and in the main bathroom we're getting new granite counters put in on Wednesday. So I'm working my way from the back of the house frontwards. And I, I do notice that my steps have increased during doing that, so that, that helps me out a lot. Uh, the recipe is for a Cuban chicken and pineapple salad. You know, I like chicken, and I like pineapple. But once again, I don't know. But it does look good. It really does look good. So I do think I am going to try that one. Um, if I do try it, I will let you know for sure. So um, today we talked about exercises, and... The bottom doesn't show very well, but it says success story, be specific, detailed, visual, powerful, and remember that today is the day. So basically what she was saying is you want to be specific about your goals. Don't say I'm going to run a marathon. Start with, you know, I'm going to walk around the block. And then by the end of the month, I'm going to walk around the block twice. Um, have a detailed plan. You know, I'm going to walk at a certain pace, but, you know, like next week I'm going to add like a little bit more and a little bit more so that by the end of the month I'm walking around the block twice. Be visual. Look and think of how you're going to look after you've walked. Um, I look winded, I know, but I try to walk a little bit faster each day. But I feel so much better, which leads to powerful. Uh, you feel so much more powerful. And um, you just got to remember today is the day. Um, yesterday's in the past. You can't change yesterday. There's no way to change yesterday. The only thing you can do different from yesterday is learn from it. Um, I don't have any guilt that I went out to eat. Um, I knew that I wasn't going to lose this week, this week, but um, it's because I need to get moving, which brings me to the next set of rules. You have to get moving. Uh, anybody can sit on the couch. Anybody can get up from one chair to the next chair. Uh, not anybody, but for most people. Um, but you have to have physical activity guidelines. Um, you, you need to do 30 minutes over five days. So you want to say that you want to do 30 minutes a day. You don't have to do all 30 minutes at the same time. You can go for a quick 10-minute walk around the block, and then maybe in the afternoon go for another quick 10-minute walk around the block, and then at night after dinner go for a quick... You've got your 30 minutes of exercise in. 
Um, if you want to do a little bit more intense, you might say you want to do 30 minutes in three days, but you want to like really step up the pace. So you want to be vigorous and, and intense, and you want to do some strength resistance training. Um, another thing which you have to know that you have to do, I really like this leader. I think I'm switching meetings. Is uh, she has this all these little bullet points, and she doesn't have a problem that I copy them down. Um, you want to start slow to risk uh, you don't have any injury, and as your stamina increases, add a little bit more activity. Um, make small goals that are going to lead to a long-term goal, and you want to spring into action because it's spring. So you know, try it with walking, bicycling, outdoor sports, or swimming. I go in my pool almost every day in the summer, uh, weather permitting, obviously. Um, I walk every day, and I have a bicycle. And my goal this year is to get on that bicycle. Uh, I just have a fear of falling. I, I don't know why, but because I'm old. And uh, you want to, the last thing is to, some guidelines to follow. And it says, with a balanced eating plan, exercise becomes important to both losing weight and maintaining your over health, overall health. Remember, no matter what you're doing or how long you're participating, just being active is the first step to being a healthier you. And I couldn't agree with that more. Um, I, as I was at my meeting today, I was thankful for my age. I looked around and saw, well, I'm pr probably one of the oldest ones there. But... Um, they were talking about their knee replacements and their hip replacements, and there was two people on a walker, and they were all in their 30s and 40s and 50s. So I'm glad that I'm old, because not to say that it doesn't happen nowadays, but um, I would think from the 90s on, and I'm guilty of this with my children, um, probably even the 80s, it was easier to run to McDonald's and get a meal or to Burger King or things like that. Um, not very many fruits and vegetables in their diet. Um, I, my mother made everything from scratch, so we had everything from scratch. And uh, we didn't have processed foods. Very, when she got her income tax return, we might go out to dinner, and we went to the Howard Johnsons. Um, that was it. Um, but the, the, the rise in diabetes, diabetes and um, hip replacements, <coughs> joint replacements, they're all going up. I have Daisy. Um, their dog. Um, what else? Oh, colon cancer's on the rise. All of these things are on the rise, and it's because they're not eating a healthy diet and they're not eating, exercising properly. But um, so remember, you want to spring into action. And I hope you like this meeting, or the, well, not a meeting, but I hope you like these highlights. And uh, if you do, share it with somebody. Comment, subscribe, and like. And we're gonna have a ham here. Christy, Sophia's back from breakfast. So I will talk to you guys next week.